Alright folks, so what we have here is a Brinks disc lock or disc padlock. It's got 1116 shackle. It says it's got uh, 3,500 pound cut resistance uh, on the shackle there. Max security and looks like it's uh, weatherproof so you can use this outside. I think these are typically used like on storage sheds and stuff like that. Just take a look at the back of it. It's got four pins. I'm not really sure what the model number on this thing is. Up here you see there's a 60, I'm sorry, 663 and then looks like 60,001. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get this baby open and uh, see how easy it is to pick. Now, I've never owned or even handled one of these disc locks. Uh, I got it for a pretty good price off of Amazon, and I just thought it might be something that would be cool to kind of play around with. Here are the keys, and they're hooked to the shackle. Here are the keys, and uh, they're hooked to the shackle. Today we're going to use some of these uh, Sparrows picks, and I'll do a separate video on these, just to see if this thing, we can open it quickly. It's probably not going to happen for me. All right, folks, and we're back. And uh, it took me about an hour and a half of tinkering around, playing with this lock, trying to pick it, before I really got used to the tension on this lock. The way it works, it doesn't have a spring in here. You have to really focus on the uh, feedback that you're getting as you pick the pins. There's four pins in here. And as you get that, you'll notice a very slight move. See how it moves like that? Right now, this lock is picked. And what happens is, is that moves over. Now once you lock it, now it's, now it's shut, see? It's not picked anymore, but that's how uh, sensitive the tension is in this lock. They can actually be picked, and this doesn't spring open. So it was very difficult, for me anyway, because I'm a beginner who kind of sucks, to really learn the tension that needs to be applied there. And it took some time, really, to understand and be able to feel the, uh, the feedback that you're getting. I'm going to try to pick this again, and now I've got my arm around a tripod with an iPad mounted on it. I recorded this video with an iPad, so let's see, let's see if I can get in there and uh, get, this, get this lock picked. Sorry for boring you guys to tears. There you go. Um, now that I've learned to do it, this lock is useless to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll put it away, and I'll forget how to pick it, and I'll bring it back out in a couple months, and I'll practice some more. Anyhow, that's it. Thanks, everybody.